Hey guys, uh, welcome back to um, the YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing the tappets on uh, a CAD 44 engine. Um, I've got two to do. I've got the injectors out as well because I've just had them overhauled. Did they need it? Probably not. But they were down apparently th uh, 30 bar on each one so I had the nozzles replaced but probably didn't need it but anyway we'll put it back in. It wasn't smoking uh, at uh, what but it was uh, smoking a little bit when you first start it up so anyway um, so in order to do this process so the process is supposed to be <laughs> that you turn the engine and at the moment it's easy for me because uh, I've got my injectors out so there's no resistance on when I'm turning the engine but you're supposed to uh, get number one cylinder uh, rocking which I've done um, and then you can do number six you do number Five rocking, then you do number. Uh, sorry, you do number two rocking, then you do number five, and you do number three rocking, you do number four, and then reverse the order basically. Um, so uh, I'll just show you what that looks like. Actually, um, we'll just turn the engine back again so we can see what that is. That's what what that's looking like. Okay, so. <clears throat> So what we're looking at here for is to see these two rock and what I mean by that is when you've got one coming up and the other one starts immediately so it's coming up the exhaust will open now so just before that if you can get it before that there that's a that's rocking at that point <coughs> you can do number six I've um, got the instructions down here I've done this many times so um, if you want to take a if you want to take a note of the instructions you can do that uh, I've done this many times before it's very simple um, so what we're trying to do here <coughs> is basically there's a in here each of each of these have like a uh, obviously it's, it's a it's a multi valve engine so oh, 24 valve 24 valve yeah 24 valve engine Yes, 24 valve. Yes, 24 valve. Four, eight. Yeah, 24, 20, anyway. So here is the uh, rocker. Okay, so the idea is that you want to get that as equal between this valve and that valve. So this isn't a clearance valve. This is more just making sure that, the, that when you push this down, that there's a, you've got an equal spread between these two. And the reason for that is because, and this is why it needs to be done every 200 hours, is because <coughs> this pole here, on here, if these two are out significantly, when this is pushing down, this is gonna be pushing sideways. If it pushes sideways, there's a chance that it will break, either crack that or crack the post. And if obviously that happens, you can trash your engine. This is why this is done every 200 hours apparently. Not 100% convinced, but um, apparently there has been occasions when this has happened, and that's what it's for. But I'm having, I'm do, I do it every 200 hours anyway, and um, I'm doing the uh, injectors as well at the same time. So that's basically the reason for doing it. <laughs> you measure your clearance here, and obviously you adjust the main clearance on these, but you adjust, first of all, the um, you have to back everything off because you can't you can't check the uh, valve clearance. It has to be all started from scratch uh, because you you don't. If I push this down, I'm not going to know if there's clearance here or or there. It's, you're just not going to know. So you've got to back all of these off, push that down, screw that in until you or screw it until you just feel like the pressure of the valve, and at that point that's when you lock it up so that it's equal between between that valve and this valve. Then you do all your clearance on the top using this adjuster. Okay, so so I hope that makes it clear, but I probably don't explain it particularly well. Um, but it's fairly it's fairly straightforward. Once you get in a rhythm of doing it, you'd be surprised how quickly you can do these. Uh, but I'll do the first one. Um, I'm gonna put this down because obviously uh, it's gonna need a couple of hands, so I'll put this down and um, yeah, perhaps you can watch what I'm going to do. I'll probably cock something up, no doubt. <clears throat> okay, so 
the first thing you need to do is back both of these off. Okay. So backing both of these off. Okay, and just move the nut off there a bit. Now you need a fairly light screwdriver for this because what you don't want to do is, is hit it too much with a big screw because you won't feel it. So let's do this one first. So we've got clearance. All the clearance going on there. So you push down really hard on that. And then back this off and then bring it back now. So I can just feel it just contacting the valve there. Just there. Got pushed right down hard on that. And that is where you do it up. <coughs> so just bring this around a bit. So pushing down on here. And it's just there. Yeah, so do this the same as this one. Bring this nut up a bit. Until you can feel it's just there. Just there. Okay, not too tight because you don't want to strip it. Um, <clears throat> so that's those ones, and now you do your, and now you do your main clearance here using these adjusters, um, which are a thirteen, I think, or a twelve. Uh, see how far we are out anyway. Now that I've done that. Not too far actually. Pretty good, I'd say. In fact, I might back that one off a tad because it's a little bit tight, but it's not bad at all, really. when you do these up you get um, you know lifts slightly <coughs> so you end up giving yourself a bit but that's pretty perfect actually so that's the uh, that's so the next one you would do would be uh, to do number five cylinder you bring number two cylinder up to rocking uh, number two cylinder here up to rocking which we'll do Okay, so they're just rock, just starting to rock now. Let's pull that back a bit. Right now, you can do this one and so on. You see, you've got the clearance there. So it's very, it's it's, uh, it's basically as simple as that. <clears throat> very easy, really. Um, uh, so yeah, twenty-four valve motor. That's how you that's how you adjust it. Is mainly to get that to get that equalisation between those. Between these things here, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so hopefully that helps somebody out. <coughs> um, obviously, there's a bit more resistance when you turn it when you've got the injectors in, but um, jobs are fish. <laughs>